Hello everyone, and we are back for more Mega Man 7. Uh, now it is time to take on Junk Man. He's a robot originally created to gather parts that can be recycled from garbage. What a waste, his quote. Good point, economist. Bad point, too much passion. He likes junk food, he dislikes raw garbage. Okay, um, so right here, I'm, I'm trying to get these bolts. Um, I don't recall if I, um, talked about the bolts in the previous video. Uh, bolts allow you to... They're basically your currency for the game. Uh, later on, we're gonna be going to a shop where we can buy items, but not right now at the moment, but it's actually pretty easy to collect currency in this game. Well, sort of, but not too, but not really. Um, bolts come into uh, three different shapes and sizes, well, well sizes. Uh, they have the tiny bolts. I believe you get two of them, and then the big bolts, uh, you get, I believe, 16 or something? I'm not really sure. But I know I've collected so many bolts, uh, I can't really, I can't really tell. Okay, you see this machine right here? You have the Thunderbolt, you can power it on. So now these platforms will move. From the left side it goes down, from the right side it goes up. Well, in this case, however, uh, you can actually make it go in the opposite direction. And I believe that depends on how you... Or which way you... Oh man. I died. I, I think that depends on which direction you turn the power on, like just now I shot it from the right side, now it's going in the opposite direction. So maybe that's why. Maybe that's why um, we're going in the opposite direction. But this actually might work better in my favor, although I can't really get up there without the rush jet. I mean not rush jet, rush coil. Oh I got up there, never mind. Now we have the rush jet. Better to look for things free instead of buying them out of the store. Because we could actually get we could actually pay for the rush jet with the bolts that we collect if we wanted to. But what's the fun in that when you can just collect it for free? Find it in a stage for free. And it's so easy too. Just have to have the right weapon. So I just turned on another machine, uh, it turns on magnets, and considering that this place is um, basically a junk stage with metal stuff, robotics, a robotic uh, garbage disposal center, yeah. So we have to be very careful, we have to make some very cautious platforming here. Now, uh, when, when you're actually on top of one of these robotic platforms, I don't think uh, you'll get crushed by a junk block. I'm not sure, but just make sure to shoot the junk blocks before you actually jump on another platform. But uh, now it's time to fight Jung Man. So for right now, I'm actually going to give him a freebie. Because I missed. I'm going to give him a freebie. Well, well, not right now. I was going to give him a freebie. <laughs> but yeah, if you have the weakness, this is all you do. It's that easy.
Yeah, coming from... I mean, after playing through all the classic Mega Man games, I mean, the first six Mega Man games, who would have thought it would get this easy, right? I mean... I mean, this is hilarious. Uh, but yeah, sorry I'm talking... Uh, if I sound pretty quiet. You get the junk shield? Uh, sorry if I sound a little bit quiet right now. Uh, I'm t the reason why I'm talking quietly is because um, somebody in my house is trying to sleep. I don't want to wake them up. I'm actually taking a chance on recording this video. But well, yeah, um, I don't want to waste any more time. So here we are in Freeze Man's stage, where we have big gigantic polar bears. And obviously it's a winter wonderland, so don't be surprised. So be careful um, not to get hit by the uh, the frozen icicles that it will make and throw at you. And watch out for these guys. Um, they don't look like the shield uh, the shielders, the shield enemies from the previous games. At least not anymore. But it's the same basic concept. They just don't look the same anymore. Now watch out for these guys shooting the icicles from the ceilings, because, uh... <clears throat> and if you shoot them, uh, if they have an icicles, they will drop them. And we can see a frozen dinosaur bones in the background. Uh, I'm gonna talk about Freeze Man in a second, but first we have to get this um, H part. We have to be very careful, trying to make it up here. The reason why we're lying on the rush coil is because I don't want to take t take any big steps and take a chance on breaking the platform because um, the longer you stand on it, this the faster it will break, and it won't regenerate unless you um, unless you actually die. So, be careful getting that H part, because it could be very difficult. Uh, so right here, I want to stay at the top. We want to stay at the top, because there's going to be another rush adapter that we need to get. Here it is. We just got the rush search. Uh, there's no weapon, or... I mean... It, Basically, Rush Surge is Rush, um, you summon Rush, and uh, he can dig underground. Uh, you can actually, f if you look in the right spots, you can actually search for something, Rush can actually search for something underground uh, that can be very useful. He can search for bulls, um, he can so search for giant bulls that could equal to 100. Or you can search for gigantic health power-ups that fill your health up all the way. Um, you can even help us search for some pretty useful items that we'll need later on. And also, he doesn't just dig underground either, he actually points you in some hidden directions where a proto man might be. Uh, so I'm gonna bring out the rush search right. I'm gonna bring out rush to search right now. So um, if he sniffs and he barks, that means he found something big. And would you look at that? We got the exit module. Oh, I haven't even talked about Freeze Man yet. 
He's a prototype robot for pollution-free energy. He is always trying to invent a cool appearance po pose, as we'll see in a second. This quote, this is what cool means. Yeah. Good point, perfectionist. Bad point, gaudy. He likes mystery novels. He dislikes pollution. Nobody likes pollution. Nobody likes pollution. That's why he... That's why he's allergic to junk. And that's how you beat Freeze Man. So now that we have Freeze Man's weapon, we can actually go back to um, a couple of other levels uh, where we can find um, the other parts for Rush. We got the Freeze Cracker. It fires bullets. Ice bullets. And the bullets will split when they hit the ground. Mid-game intervention. Welcome home, Mega Man. Dr. Light, what do you think of base? His actions don't seem to indicate a threat. I don't believe he is our enemy. What is this? Wily is attacking the robot museum? You must leave now, Mega Man. Alright, we're gonna take a step back to memory lane. Well, we're gonna take quite a big step back to memory lane, actually. Uh, this is the robot museum. Where all the famous robots we've met before are here. Uh, we've got Snake Man, we've got... We have Blizzard Man, uh, we have Feral Man, and we have Heat Man. But there's one robot missing in the middle. I wonder who it could be. Oh, it's Gus Man. And... For some reason, Dr. Wily just loves Gus Man for some reason. I don't know why. I have no idea why. But now we have to find this, fight this clown guy. Um, you want, uh, what you want to do is aim for his head because that's all you can actually hit. His body is invulnerable because of his fat. <laughs> I doubt that's the reason. Um, but uh, you can't really hit him while he's in the air. I mean, you probably could, but it's going to be very difficult to hit him in the, while he's in the air. Um, depending on how powerful the shots are when you take them to the head, uh, whether it's a regular shot or a full power charge shot, whatever the case may be, depending on how powerful, also depends on how fast um, you'll send the head flying. Like, I, I just hit him with a charge shot, so I sent him flying pretty far. But, um, if the head is spinning, af after, um, he lands on the ground, you won't be able to hit him, because, um, you can't really hit him while he's spinning, so... Uh, it's useless, so... Let's be careful about this boss. It's pretty easy. Just gotta know what to do. You're gonna have to, um, slide a lot, and get out of the way a lot. No other weapons are effective whatsoever, so don't even try. Mega Man is a disaster. Wily and his robots are rampaging through the middle of the city. Get going. And that's it. Uh, we are done with the first half of Mega Man 7. See you guys next time.